Hello and thanks again for joining me for another episode of Kenshi with our Skeletons Only Freedom Seekers playthrough. Alright, so in the last episode we got our uh, iron refinery up and running. Uh, we've got Sad Neil over in the uh, Black Desert City over here set up with a research bench and he is researching and we... I just researched uh, first aid kits. Now, we're all skeletons. We don't really use first aid kits, but we are looting quite a fair few. And the only thing I really use them for is I do like to heal up these guys that are they're helping us. These guys have just been hanging around and they do help out in the battles. We may also need to heal up shopkeepers from time to time or the guards in, our, in the little uh, way station that we're next to. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I researched it just so I could get the Medicrate. And that will allow us to put all, all of our stolen uh, med kits into that. So we'll get that built. Um, I'm also going to put in a shop counter over here. And if we've got uh, heaps of med kits, then uh, mm. we'll put some of those in there. Uh, let me see. Now we also researched electricals. So I'm going to put uh, electrical storage up here too. Uh, but wait, no, we don't want Sad Neil doing that. Uh, we want old rust on that. So he is set to engineer. So we'll get him working on that. And we do have some action somewhere down here. Who have we got down here? Cloud Ninja. Wasn't too much of a bother. Uh, cogs. Cogs, you can pick this guy up and carry him around for extra strength. Alright, so we got that done. Uh, so, in our little research bench under here we have all of these first aid kits that we've looted. And they all have the stolen tag on them, and they won't combine. So we'll put them in the Medicrate, and you can see they all they all combine together. They're no longer flagged as stolen. So we can grab out a fresh full one there. And what we'll do is we'll put a couple in the shop counter. Maybe we'll leave one in there. The rest of those in a shop counter. And then, uh, you know, maybe someone will come and come and buy them without us having to travel back to town 
Uh, let's see. Now what we want is our electrical workbench. I'm just going to put up here. Old Rust will get to work on that. So we did have a bunch of guys come in here to uh, to try and buy some first aid kits, but they all said they couldn't afford it. And these guys are slavers. No, they are the Traders Guild. Okay. Do need to watch out for slavers. Uh, how are our iron plates going? They're going fine. To have more action, we'll be good over here. Who's this guy? Another cloud ninja. Cloud ninjas get up pretty quick. All right. Nuts carrying a body oils. How about you come and pick this guy up? These Traders Guild guys are trying to buy our first aid kits, but they can't afford it. Uh, we are done with research, so let's head over to Sad Neil. It's gone back to mining. Let's grab that stuff out. I uh, don't think he's got anything stashed. Nope. Let's take your job off for a minute. Alright, so we're going to come across this bridge here. So we are going to this little X over here. It's the scrap house. And he's got pretty atrocious skills, so he is pretty slow. We have him carrying a body though, so he's going to get some strength up. Uh, he hasn't been doing that much running around because he's mainly been standing at the research bench. But we're going to get him onto this ramp here. And once we're on the ramp there, we can go up a floor. And we can come inside. And if we come over here and talk to this guy, he should have some ancient science books. Ancient science, engineering research, AI cores. Now these are a one-time only thing, so once he sold them, he doesn't restock them have that iron we'll take four of those for now it's also got some pretty decent weapons and a few other bits and pieces but uh, for now we're just worried about our science
So he's traveling pretty slowly at the moment. And a lot of that is because of his encumbrance. But uh, by being encumbered, he's going to get stronger, which means he will be less encumbered. All right, so pop those in there. And we'll get him started on tech level four, which we are going to need for steel bars. And we're going to need steel bars for, uh, let's see. Uh, where are we? Crafting for robotics. We need, need to learn steel bars for that. Uh, so Sad Neil can go back on his job then. Let's come back over here. Do have the Traders Guild wanting their weekly 4,000. Give that to them for the moment. Alright, so got our electric bench up and running. Uh, we'll get nuts working on that. And oils. Oils can take some of this copper. We'll leave some there in reserve for the electric bench. But we'll sell some of this off. Uh, who's this guy? Loot this guy on the way. Sell some of this off. Uh, I've got another one down here. It's just a, I mean, it's just a farmer. He won't have much on him. Uh, he's already been looted. I don't know if this guy has been. He has been. That's fine. All right, so I'll pop in here. So some of this, and that shop keep is out of cash. So sell the rest in the bar. He's out of cash too. All right, no problem. Back to your jobs. Okay. Now, we are going to need more power, so we will get, uh, get another small wind generator up and running here. And we've got just enough electrical components to do that by the looks of it. Let's check on our iron plates. Okay, so got enough iron plates to upgrade this as well. Go 
I'll get that going. But, uh, make sure old Ross is working on this one. So now these guys here that were set to work on this, they're not set. So bolts and springs. They're not set as engineers, but they were set to work this machine. And because it's being upgraded, they are actually building it. So you can see their engineering is going up because they are working on upgrading it. All right, there's our second power up. Uh, how are we doing for building materials? Okay. So I think at this stage, we are going to get another storm house going. And we're just going to... Pop that over here. Well, these guys can't even afford a basic first aid kit. Yeah, we do have a skimmer. Let's get in there if we can before these guys kill it. No. Okay. We'll loot it though. Alright, so this has been upgraded and now it only requires one worker so we will take bolts off of that and springs is just gonna or bolts is just gonna be mining the iron and we've got our tech level four so uh let's see here industry all right so our, our ancient science books are over here so we need to set the tech from over here uh, we need to actually go and buy more science ancient science books though so we want steel bars that's going to be one ancient science book. Uh, we are going to want two engineering research for the skeleton repair beds. And we're going to want another ancient science book for robotics. And we need to research steel bars to do that. So we need Two ancient science books and two engineering research. So I'll send Sad Neil back up here. Hopefully we've got enough cash for that. Very slowly getting the athletics up. I mean, it is definitely a lot quicker getting the athletics up when uh, when you're not encumbered. But it's also easier to get the athletics up when you've got a bit of strength, so that uh, so that you don't become encumbered as easily. I think usually I like to get athletics up 
burst, but he's not really doing a lot of running around. All right, so two more ancient science. One, two, two of these. I want to leave ourselves too low on cash either. Who's over here? As his strength goes up, the experience for the weight that he's carrying will go down and the athletics will go up. See, it just changed from 49 to 50 there. just how the experience is split. All right, pop these in here. Pop your jobs back on. Uh, let's see. All right, so we need steel bars first. Then we're going to go for the repair beds. And then we're going to go for robotics. Head back home. So we got this up and running. Uh, probably wouldn't hurt to get another wind generator going. Starting to fill that up. We're not going to use a real lot of electronics just yet. But it definitely doesn't hurt to have some in stock. Uh, let's see. All right, I think what we might do. Uh, let's get the stone mining. Let's just take ordinary books. I suppose we may as well grab storage boxes. Don't know if we'll use those. Uh, we do have a skimmer over here. Let's get everybody on that. Loot it. Uh, let's make sure we get oils repaired before he gets uh, picked up by a slaver. And oils. Pick 
this guy back up. Okay, so we just researched the steel bars. Uh, let me see. Okay, so the rest of that needs ancient science books as well, so... All right, uh, let's get our steel refinery up and running. Steel refinery, I'll pop this over here. All right, so I think, uh, well, we've got a lot of NPCs around here. So what I'm going to do... So I'm going to put everybody here on sneak because when there's that many people running around uh, that is going to be a significant boost in sneak experience. Let's see how fast that uh, experience is going up just from running around near these guys. So we get this up and running. And we've just researched the skeleton repair beds. We'll get this up and running and then we'll uh then we'll put in a skeleton repair bed. And of course they're not going to get the sneak experience unless they are moving around while they're stationary at a workstation but as they run back and forth um we've got another group over here slave traders so we'll keep an eye out on those don't really want to be involved in any Dangerous fights where we're going to get knocked out while those guys are hanging around. And somebody just bought one of the first aid kits. Bought a couple of them. So by putting them in there, because we've only got the locally without traveling, we've only got the the bar and this shop here to sell stuff to, and they are tending to run out of cash especially when we uh especially when we get a big load of loot all right so we still need iron plates for this almost got the robotics researched certainly taken his time I think there's something wrong with the positioning of that uh, let's try that again maybe because of this mound here maybe it was causing a bit of interference let's pop it here instead that's better Okay, that's a bit more like it. Uh, something 
just go down here. Outlaw Swordsman. Slave Traders. Not going to worry too much about getting involved in stuff while all these uh, slave traders are around. Uh, who's that? Outlaw farmers. Alright. Not going to get involved. Check these guys though, because these guys are being a, a big help. So just make sure we keep those guys healed up. that All right, so getting quite a few electronics there. So Cog's building this because his work is set to mine it. So we'll make sure old Russ is prioritised on this one. Stop. Getting those steel bars out. And then we'll probably put bolts on here. Maybe oils. We get oils on there because I suppose they're all pretty low on athletics, but uh, doesn't really matter, I guess. I'll put bolts on there, I suppose. Uh, that can be upgraded again. All right, almost done with the steel. Uh, but we're also going to need storage. Some storage for steel bars. Pop that over here too. Gonna build the box first. All right, so bolts. You can start churning out some steel bars.
and old Ross is putting this other wind generator together. Going on over here. Flavors. So the slavers are still hanging around. Okay. Uh, this can be upgraded. Nine iron plates. How are our iron plates going? They'll be getting used up now. Uh, let me see. Power should be okay for the time being. Uh, maybe. Maybe we could get some batteries. Let me see. Let's get some lighting. I'll actually get the lighting first. Uh, we might as well go all the way. And we will get another small wind generator here. As if there is a wind shortage. That can quite easily uh, cut down a fair bit. Alright, so we are starting to produce steel bars. So let's, uh, we need one of these. Iron plates, copper and electrical components. Uh, let me see. Maybe. We'll pop one of these up here. Like so. And let's have a look at everybody. So, now we do get uh, this wear and tear. Not doing too badly, but uh, we can freshen everything up by using the repair bed. So we need a couple more copper there. Why 
while you're here, don't you pick up the copper? And that stealth is still going up pretty good with all these guys around. Alright, didn't pick up another, didn't pick up enough iron plates obviously. That should have that built. Okay, so uh, let's see. Let's get nuts. You can have. You need to drop your body first. You can have a quick snooze. And you can see all these stats come back up to 200. That was pretty quick. Let's uh, bring the oils over here. So these legs are getting a bit low. And there are some places that do have repair beds, but uh, they can be quite expensive to rent for the night. Right, everything back up to 200. Hogs. You can do the same. So I'm going to refresh these guys. And uh, let me see here. So we've got our steel production going. Um, we've got our electricals going. Got our repair bed. So we are moving along. But that is going to do it for this episode. So if you did enjoy this video, then uh, please leave me a like or a comment down below. If you'd like to see more, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.